Good morning Year 2 and welcome to Thursday's English lesson. So today it is Thursday the 21st of January and in English today we are going to be learning all about compound words. So everybody meet Captain Compound. Now he has got a very important job. He is in charge of making some very special words. Let's see how Captain Compound does this. So, we need to look at these pictures. And a compound word is made of two separate words. So let's have a look together. Here, we can see that we have a bed and we have a room. And if we add those two words together, tell your grown-up what we have. We have made bedroom. So that is the job of Captain Compound. He puts two separate words together to make one word. Let's have a look at this next one. So we have a foot and a ball. If we add those two words together, can you tell your grown-up what we have made? Well done. When we add foot and ball together, we have made a new word, football. And it makes a new word. Let's see if we can make some compound words. So, we have got some pictures here and we have got to make the new compound word. So, let's have a look at the first one together. Can you tell your grown-up what this is a picture of? Fantastic, it's somebody's arm. And here we have a chair. Tell your grown-up what the new compound word will be. Well done, it would be arm chair. Let's write that together. Arm chair. And when we write our new compound word, we must remember that we have to join the two words together. So there is no finger space in between. Let's have a look at the next one. Hmm, this is a picture of a tooth. And here we have a brush. Can you put those two words together to make our new compound word? Tell your grown up what you think it will be. Well done. If we add tooth and brush together, we make toothbrush. Let's write that together. Now I must remember that I'm joining these two words so I don't need a finger space in between because it is becoming one new word. Let's look at the last one. So we have some lips and a stick. If we put those two words together, what word have we made now? Tell your grown-up. Well done. The new compound word we have made is lipstick. Lip. Stick. Well done. Oh, now we've got some more. Let's do these together as well. So, we have got some more pictures, two separate words that when we put them together, we are going to make a new compound word. So let's help Captain Compound put these words together. So we have news that we watch on the telly, so news, and we have some paper. Tell your grown up what our new compound word will be. Well done, it's going to be newspaper. And remember to not leave a finger space because we are making one new word. Okay, can you tell your grown-up what these two pictures are? Well done, we have a pan and we have a cake. Can you tell your grown-up the new compound word we can make? Fantastic, it can be pancake. Pancake. Fantastic children, well done. Hmm, 
Now this is slightly different. Someone has chopped up the compound words and we have got to help Captain Compound put them back together. So we have got hair, air and mouth. And we've got to match one of these words to these words here to make the compound word. So let's try fitting these two together. So hair, bag. Hmm, that doesn't make a right word. Let's try this one. Hair, wash. Well, that's not a word. Hair, brush. Ah, so it makes hair, brush. So I would put that one over there for hair, brush. Okay, let's try the next one. Air bag. Yes, that makes sense because an airbag is what is in people's cars. Airbag. Now, the last one must be mouth wash. Yes, that makes sense. That is a compound word, mouth wash. Fantastic, children. Well done. Okay, children. So now we all know how to make compound words. It is when we put two separate words together to make one new word. And this is the activity that we are going to go through and see what we need to do. So on your sheet, we have got lots of different pictures. And our job is to put two pictures together to make a new compound word. So our first job is that we need to cut all of these pictures out. So. I have got some here and you are going to help me make some compound words with these pictures. So I know I need to put two together to make one compound word. So let's see what we've got. We've got cup, rain, bow, basket, cake and ball. So I'm going to have a go at making a new compound word. Rain cake. No, that's not right. That doesn't make a word. Um, let's try these two. Ball a cake. No, that's not right. That doesn't make a word. Bow ball. No, that doesn't make a word. Hmm. Let me try these two. Rainbow. Yes. That makes rainbow. Okay, so let me show you what we need to do. Once you have found a compound word, you're going to stick them together like this on your piece of paper. And next to it, you are going to write rain. And if I add bow to rain, I get rainbow. So I have added two separate words together to make one compound word. Okay, let's try another one. Um, cup ball. No, that doesn't make sense. Basket cup. No, that's not right. Basket ball. Yes, basket ball. So that would be my next compound word. So I'm going to stick that underneath and I'm going to set it out just like I did here. So basket. And I'm going to add ball to it. And I have made a new compound word, basket ball. Now you must remember when you are writing your new compound word that you mustn't leave a finger space in between because we are putting those two separate words together to make one new word. Okay, let's look at the final one. Hmm, let's try that way. Cupcake. Yes, cupcake. That is my la final compound word. So I'm gonna set it out just like before. So I've got cup, I'm going to add cake, but remember for my compound word, 
I must get rid of that space in between to make it one word cup. Cupcake. Okay. Right then, just remember children, once you have sorted all of your compound words, the challenge at the bottom says, can you think of your own compound words? So once you have helped Captain Compound make all of these compound words, your challenge is, can you think of your own? So just underneath here, I'm going to have a think of what compound words I could write. And I'm going to try and think of some different ones to what I've already done. Hmm, let me have a think. I think if I put the words tree and house together, I would make a new compound word, tree house. So let's try that. So tree, if I add house, So I have two separate words, tree, house, and I would make a new compound word, tree, house. Okay, children, so it is now your turn to have a go at helping Captain Compound sort all of these pictures and make compound words and then challenge yourself at the end. Can you think of your own? Don't forget children, when you have finished your work, send it into your class teacher and we can't wait to see if you have made the compound words correctly. Bye for now.